Hi everyone, welcome back to OC Avery where today we're going to be having a look at building the new bird room part two and how exactly that I got to this stage here where we've got a big concrete slab down for the foundations of the new bird room. We're going to see how we got there today, everything that we've done in the process and exactly why we've done a concrete floor already in preparation for the new bird room. So that's all of the decking gone, which the, uh, the the other bird room, the first one, sat on. Uh, that's all the sleepers. Obviously, you can see they're quite knackered. They're, they're all rotten, and that's not very nice. And hence, hence one of the reasons we're actually doing a new bird room. Uh, so yeah, we better get this all burned now. And just like that, we've took all of the sides down now, which were where the uh, the sort of the land met the decking sort of thing, which was originally there. Now, just to let you know, that decking was like 20 years old. It was built when I was uh, very young. So, okay, 19 years old. Um, and, and it's it's obviously served its purpose now. Uh, it's very tired because of how, you know, how long it's been there. Uh, so we've took all the sides down now and then we've just got to kind of level it off. We've got all the sort of boulders and bricks and all that sort of stuff to lie down, take up some room rather than concrete. We're going to order in a couple of banks, uh, a couple of tons worth of sort of, I think, 20 mil gravel, uh, some limestone. Uh, we're going to get all that down and then we're going to put concrete on top of that. But I think the first thing to do anyway is get all this wood burnt. So we've had two tons of uh, sort of a 20 mil uh, limestone delivered. It's a pretty clean mix as well, quite nicely. So we've we've emptied sort of half a bag of it here. We've got another ton to go uh, and we, we're slowly emptying it into the pit. And the idea of this is, is to provide us a nice solid base and a, and a firm compacted base uh, that we can then lay the concrete on top of. It's gonna really help hold the new bird room. So that is two tons of this limestone gravel move now. Um, it's, it's pretty much covering the whole top, but we need we need at least a ton more. We've got a bit in the corner that's just not quite finished, and it just needs a bit of a thicker layer before we put the concrete on top. So we're going to have to get another two ton orders, but that's absolutely fine. We did anticipate that. Uh, so there you are. That is the first layer of gravel for the foundation of the new bird room. So a long hard morning's work we've got, um, well we had two and a half cube of concrete delivered, it turned out to be too little, uh, even though we'd actually ordered more than we thought we needed, so we ended up having to fetch another half a tonne, but there's now probably, well half a cube, so there's probably about seven tonnes of concrete we've laid this morning, which is the new foundation for the bird room. Uh, so we'll talk about the why we're doing concrete in a second as opposed to sort of bricks or or gravel or what but yeah there you are that is a nice big concrete print it's about five and a half meters by i think four and a half something like that but it's a, it's a pretty big solid base for the new bird room so why is a concrete base for this new bird room so important? Now, vermin are a huge problem when it comes to keeping birds and keeping most livestock in general, especially with birds, whether you keep passerine species like we do with finches and canaries, whether you keep waterfowl, whether you keep 
poultry in the poultry industry or you know, parrots, anything like that. Vermin are a huge problem. Birds attract vermin. Birds make a mess and they smell generally anyway. Uh, and they just litter everything everywhere and it's absolutely perfect for rats. Rats can clean up all the seed that the birds throw everywhere. They can eat the birds because they do, believe me, I've had it happen before, uh, many years ago. Um, they even go for the eggs uh, and it is a big problem. So a concrete floor is absolutely vital when it comes to keeping birds and giving yourself the best chance against vermin. Now, the idea of having this is that we can put the shed down on here and then we can sort of seal the shed into the floor. And what I mean by that is make it as hard as you possibly can to make the vermin have to really work to get inside. And if you can make it impossible for them to get inside and bother the birds, even better. Now, what I'll be doing is we'll put in, put in the wooden shed down on there. The runners will be running across the concrete, as you would expect, uh, for the base of the shed. And then we're going to seal it around the outside. And I'm basically thinking maybe running a, a couple of courses of bricks just around the outside so they can't go underneath and come up through the floor uh, and just make it so it's really difficult for them. And that's exactly what we need to be doing. Make it difficult for them make it not worth the trouble. Now, something else that works really nicely is having concrete is that you can clean it really, really easily. It's better than having a, a gravel base. Seed can drop into the gravel uh, and be easily picked up there by vermin, uh, all sorts of different things like that. So if I have a concrete base, I can go around, you know, where there's gaps around the sides of the sheds, I can jet wash around the sides and it means that there's no seed or any mess left which might attract vermin. Now, it is important, of course, as we've said, vermin will kill birds, they will nick their eggs, they will cause all sorts of problems and they also spread disease and that is one of the biggest concerns, especially with the UK at the moment, there's an, an avian flu epidemic. We don't want avian flu, obviously that would be an absolute nightmare. All the birds would have to be culled and vermin can be vectors for transferring avian flu. And I'm, I'm predominantly saying rats and mice that are gonna get into your shed, excrete, into the food or into the cages, birds will pick it up. Uh, you know, it's unlikely that with our sort of setup anyway and the type of birds we keep, wild birds coming in contact isn't gonna happen because we've got roofs on all the sheds, birds are or in sheds anyway, where they just can't contact wild birds. Uh, and then of course, having biosecurity measures like foot dips is, is absolutely fine as well and does as good a job as well. So yeah, it's just trying to keep on top of it, make it really difficult and make it just so that vermin won't be able to bother the birds as much as we can and also finally concrete is a very very stable foundation for any sort of structures which are going to be quite heavy whether it be a house whether it be a garage whether it be a shed like that whether it even be a driveway for a car so concrete is also the best way to go i find a high recommend if you are building so a new bird room a new aviary or something like that concrete base is the way to go so if you have enjoyed today's video and you'd like to see more from OC Avery building the new bird room in part three, where we're going to obviously have the new shed delivered, we're going to do out the hole inside, the cages are going to be coming and it's going to be absolutely brilliant, then make sure you subscribe down below so you don't miss any more of that future content and all the vi visits to bird shows we do, picking up new birds, the breeding of the birds in spring, all sorts of things to follow along with. So please do make sure you subscribe. And if you have enjoyed today's video as well, then make sure to smash a like on this video. It's very much appreciated. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Welcome to the new bird room.